Okay, this is the Yushang F09. Haven't flown it in a while. It's a little bit different than the uh, the Coast Guard helicopters. The Coast Guard helicopter has um, GPS and opt optical hold, so it will hover in place. Um, but it doesn't have manual mode like this one. This one you do have to continually correct the uh, the altitude. Um, like it seems like it's going up and then it seems like it's going down and you just got to continuously adjust it. So I haven't flown this in a while so I'm not going to do a lot with it just yet. Try to get the feel for it again. See, it wants to bob up and down. Easy to get it too high pretty quick. So you gotta constantly adjust it. A little bit of wind blowing there too. What you want to do is get super comfortable with the tail to you. Um, that way when you start turning it around, um, if you get in trouble, you can turn it around to the tail quickly. Now, I have to use opposite movements to keep it still. It's funny how, um, if you haven't had stick time in a while, Um, flying is a diminishing skill. If you don't keep doing it, um, you get rusty. And I've been flying mostly my planes, but I even haven't been able to get out much with those because we've had horrible, horrible winds. And then we've had horrible, horrible pollen and sneezing like crazy. Tend to get out more now. Things are calming down a bit. It's a little breezy today, but um, it's manageable. It's like six to 10, I think. This helicopter in manual mode will do a very sharp turn 
it will go upside down without any assistance. Well, you gotta fly it. Um, it does not have an automatic upside down like the Coast Guard helicopter. It also does not tell you when the battery is about to go kaput. You gotta keep checking it to make sure the green light's not blinking on the top. Or time it for five to six minutes. Um, the controller that comes with it does not have a timer. The one that comes with the uh, Coast Guard helicopter actually has telemetry and it beeps when it's time to land or it'll land itself. But you don't, this one has full control so that you can take off the 6G and just fly the hell out of it upside down all kinds of stuff. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm rusty again. I did have to uh, change the tail rotor on this um, last year. It was a really hot day and uh, I burnt the tail rotor out. The thing went spiral spiraling to the ground, but it didn't really damage it. It did land in the grass. And I haven't done anything since then except um, I put a new body, I, I didn't put a new body, I took the body off and uh, put a new tail rotor on it. The tail rotor motor burnout. Uh, I tell you, this thing has about 50 million screws. It's crazy. And uh, I test covered it in my backyard. But this is the first time in a long time since last summer that I've been flying it. It's not hard to fly. The 6G mode is really, really super good. But unlike the Coast Guard helicopter, it does not give you any help. Like the Coast Guard helicopter, um, you can throw it back into GPS mode and it'll immediately stop and hover. This one doesn't have, I mean this one is a little more advanced than the Coast Guard one. Get my land legs a little bit again. I did um, find out the Coast Guard one has a, an Achilles heel. Um, I was flying it at my house and I took off too near to my house and it went into auto land and landed on my roof. So I had to go get a ladder and get to the top of my roof and get it down. So be forewarned, if you fly the Coast Guard helicopter and it goes into return to home, um, it, does not, it does not come down exactly where you took off. And um, it was on the, took off from the sidewalk next to my house, came down on my roof. And I could not control it. Um, you're supposed, you know, once, once it's descending, you can actually steer it. But because it was coming down on my roof, I didn't have enough leeway to steer it off my roof and back over to the sidewalk. So, point is, if you fly it near your house, make sure you take it off in the street or something so that it has a better place to land.
This is uh, my YouTube buddy's R.A. Renfield's favorite helicopter. He, he likes to fly it and rant about things. I like to fly it and just talk about the heli. It's a wonderful heli. If you want something scale and easy to fly. Way, way easier than the blade helicopters. But the blade helicopters do have assistance. So there's a uh, low voltage. Shoot, I should have been paying attention. See, uh, no damage. Barely any scrapes on these blades. They're, they're car hard carbon fiber blades. I need to pay attention. See, it's blinking. So this one will go into low voltage cutoff and go down. So you got you got to stay on top of it. I was talking too much. And if you put it into um, throttle up one, it'll eat the battery quicker. I had it in throttle up, regular, normal mode. It's a neat helicopter. It's got sliding doors. I had this uh, tail rotor. The wire runs along here, along here, along the shaft, and up to the controller that's under here. You can get to the controller by taking this off, but um, in order to get a new rotor motor in it, you have to take both halves off the inner body to get it out and back in again. And it is. it took me probably a couple hours on a weekend to take every screw out and put the new rotor in and then put it all back together and the screws are different sizes they're not a single size which is a real pain in the butt um, because you have to remember okay this is a really short screw and it went you know here or something you know and then I put a piece of tape on the front right here. There was um, a tape decal there, and I just put a piece of tape there. And then I put another piece of tape up here where the, I had to cut the decal to get it, get it apart. It's a tough helicopter. I mean, it can take a crash. You saw it come down and scrape the blades because I wasn't paying attention. This. This light blinks to let you know that it's low in power, but it, you, it's hard to see unless you bring it down every once in a while and look at it. That's one of the things I wish the Coast Guard helicopter had full manual mode, but it does not. Because the nice thing about the Coast Guard helicopter is that the controller has full telemetry and um, it beeps when the battery's getting low and it auto lands. Now, what I can do is I have a satellite, a spectrum satellite, and that can be put in here, under here, and then I can bound it to my spectrum radio. And I've been meaning to do that, but it's like, you know, if I'm not busy, I'm, I'm trying to get out and fly. <laughs> it's just something I need to do. Um, I get, I get interested in planes and jets, or and then I go on maintenance on my planes, and then forget about the helicopters. But I need to give them a little love here eventually. So this is the Yushang FO9 Blackhawk. Wonderful helicopter.